guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to use Sony Vegas Pro 13. If you already started your uh, putting in your media and everything, you can just go into the project settings right here and then type in your project settings. Or, But if you want to just start a new project, as uh, you go on with this video, just press file new uh, and then enter your project settings. So if your width and your height are 920 by 1080, that means you're recording in 1080p. If it's 1280 by 720, it's 720p. Now, I don't believe that anyone you know who's looking to be a youtuber has under 720p so you can also change the frame rate 29.970 is actually 30 fps and 59.940 is 60 fps so i record in 20 and 30 fps so i'll do that make the full resolution rendering quality the best and yeah and you can also start all the new projects with these settings so you if you record in 1080p for all your videos and edit in 1080p for all your videos just press this press ok once you're done and what I like to do is just put on all my clips here so I just press here open and I have my watermark here I have my intro so that's all I'm gonna put in so far I'm just gonna make sure it's 920 by 1080 and press apply ok and then what I want to do is drag it in and as you can see there's this little speaker here it is the audio and this little film thing is the the visual you know the, the media the, the video so it's still once again uh, keep switching because I just added it back in the intro is not 920 by 1080 as you can see and so a lot of people have troubles with uh, some things okay to separate the audio you just press on the audio and press U and then you can move it if you didn't do that you can't uh, okay if you didn't do that like here I put here you can't move it so you must you must press U okay so let me just get it back here to fade in the video or fade in the audio you just go on the top left or top right depending if you want to start from the end to the beginning and just drag it to wherever you want it to end the fading it's like MKC Studio 8 so it just it just fades in like from here it fades in like that you can also change the opacity of the thing you can change it so it appears more like 100% opacity or zero or you can hardly see it you can also add a lot of different things or I'll teach you how to do this just press on this little crop tool and you can move around the video so you can add two videos like side by side and stuff but that isn't really necessary for some people and if you guys want to uh, put a new layer like a new layer just drag the video down and then a new layer should appear so now I want to put something over the video and I have my watermark here so I'll just put it over and yep, just make sure whatever you're putting over, if you want to make it like, um, as you can see right here, it's not a white background. That's because I saved it as a PNG file. So make sure to save it as a PNG file if you want it, the background to be transparent. So yeah, that's how you do it. You can, <laughs> you can also add uh, background music if you guys want. That's all up to you. Um, Sony Vegas does not crash or anything. Uh, I have experience with uh, Campasia Studio 8 where it crashes a lot. It is like the best editor, I think. It's the best editor at least. And I've only been using this for three weeks. So if you guys have any other questions, I'll probably make it in a second part, a part two of this. And yeah, this is just the basics. If you guys already know how to do it, I don't, I don't know why you would uh, watch this video. But if you guys want more tutorials like this, I'll probably make one on Camtasia Studio 8 as well. If you want that, just leave a like. And if you enjoyed this video, comment below, tell me what you liked about it, and if you have any other questions, just comment below. And once you're done, um, you know, done with your video, you guys want to render it. So what you want to do is just drag it from the bottom or the top, wherever you want, like here. And make sure the whole video is selected. If you just go rendering without the selecting the video, it will render for like, I don't know, like 10 hours or something. Because you're not actually selecting a certain part of your video like your whole video so just drag it here and press this little green thing here or you can just do file render as or just press this and here the rendering part is um, you choose whatever you want but I like to use main concept 
AVC slash AAC and go on down to Internet HD 1080p or Internet HD 720p, whatever you like. So I use 1080p, press customize template, and here choose your frame rate. But all I like to do is just go to project, video rendering, video rendering quality, press best, press OK, and then press render. And then it will render. And <laughs> if you were on a faster computer, it would finish rendering, but my render is so slow. So guys, thank you guys for watching. My name is Steven, and I'll see you in the next one.